the search for extraterrestrial life is one of the most fascinating and enduring questions in science. Are we alone in the universe, or is there life beyond Earth? One of the most famous tools used to explore this question is the Drake Equation. While it's not a scientific equation in the traditional sense, it serves as a framework for estimating the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which we might be able to communicate. In this video, we'll break down each term of the Drake Equation and explore what it tells us about the possibility of life beyond Earth. First, let's take a look at the equation itself, n equals RFP NEFL phi FCL asterisk. Each of these terms represents a different factor that could influence the number of detectable civilizations in our galaxy. So, what do they all mean? R asterisk, the average rate of star formation per year in our galaxy. This term represents the number of new stars born in the Milky Way each year. The more stars there are, the more potential homes for life. Astronomers estimate this number to be around 1 to 3 stars per year. FP the fraction of those stars that have planetary systems. With the discovery of thousands of exoplanets over the past few decades, we now know that planets are common around stars. Current estimates suggest that nearly every star has at least one planet, so this fraction is likely close to one. Any, the average number of planets per star that could potentially support life. This refers to planets in the so-called habitable zone the region around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist. Recent discoveries suggest that many stars have planets in this zone, so any might be around 0.1 to 1. FL, the fraction of habitable planets where life actually arises. This is one of the biggest unknowns in the equation. While life appeared relatively quickly on Earth, we don't know how likely it is to emerge elsewhere. This term could be anything from zero, if life is incredibly rare, to one, if life arises wherever conditions are suitable. Phi, the fraction of planets with life where intelligent life evolves. Even if life is common, intelligent life might be rare. On Earth, it took billions of years for complex life to develop and even longer for intelligent life to emerge. This term is highly speculative, and estimates range widely. FC the fraction of civilizations that develop technology that allows them to communicate with us. This term is about the development of technology like radio signals that we could detect. Again, this is uncertain some civilizations might not develop such technology, or they might not use it in a way that we can detect. L, the length of time that such civilizations release detectable signals into space. Civilizations might rise and fall and their window of communication might be short. This term could be as short as a few decades or as long as millions of years. When you multiply all these factors together, you get n, the number of civilizations in our galaxy that we might be able to communicate with. The Drake equation doesn't give us a definitive answer it's more of a thought experiment that helps us consider all the factors that play into the search for extraterrestrial life. So, what does the Drake equation tell us? For one, it shows us just how many variables are involved in the search for life beyond Earth. Some of these factors we can estimate with some confidence, while others remain deeply uncertain. It also highlights the vastness of the universe and the incredible challenge of finding other civilizations. But the Drake equation also gives us hope. Even if some of the terms are small, the sheer number of stars and planets in our galaxy means that the possibility of finding life elsewhere is not out of reach. As our technology improves and we continue to explore the cosmos, the search for extraterrestrial life remains one of the most exciting frontiers in science. In conclusion, while the Drake equation doesn't provide a precise answer, it serves as a powerful tool for thinking about the factors that influence the existence of life beyond Earth. The search continues and who knows perhaps one day, we'll find the answer to one of humanity's greatest questions, are we alone in the universe? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of the Drake equation, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more content on the mysteries of the cosmos. Do you think we'll find life out there? Let me know in the comments below.